Hello, this is Dr. David Richardson, the Cataract Coach, and welcome to the third segment of my four-part series of a typical cataract surgery. Now you notice it's uh, pretty clear except for over on the side you see there's a little bit of haze. That's what we call the cortical material. And in a second you'll see that I start removing that with um, two instruments. I use what's called a bimanual irrigation and aspiration set. Not everybody uses bimanual um, and later you'll see what, uh, what is more typically used which is called coaxial. But I find that the bimanual gives me a lot better control over the uh, removal of this cortical material. So first I put in the irrigating handpiece and then up from the top of the video you see the aspirating handpiece. Um, you'll notice that the irrigating handpiece reflects light more and that the, the aspirating handpiece, the tip looks uh, uh, like it's been sanded and that's actually intentional. The, uh, the tip actually has a kind of a, um, a rough edge that allows me to polish the capsule itself. Uh, not everybody will polish the capsule because again it is very very thin and delicate um, so it's a, a little uh, stressful on the surgeon's heart to, to polish it. But here you can see I'm polishing it as uh, I do believe that polishing the capsule results in a uh, more controlled healing response uh, as that capsule shrink wraps around the, uh, the lens and eventually um, holds the lens in, in position. So this is, uh, again, it's a relatively um, uh, straightforward, but because you're, you're dealing with such a delicate membrane, it's not a step that everyone takes. Now the eye is ready for some additional viscoelastic. So I'm just going to have the patient look ahead, straight ahead at the light. And oftentimes, uh, as the view clears up, they start looking around. So I just uh, in, inform the, the patient to continue to look straight ahead. Um, so in this case, there was a little bit more polishing that I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and polish this. The next step you'll see, I will actually place some viscoelastic into the capsular bag and that frees up uh, space that I will then use to uh, insert the lens. So here's the viscoelastic and uh, it's transparent so you can't really see clearly what's uh, going on here but uh, I've just filled up the eye with a viscoelastic gel and this is going to let me place the lens in safely which I will show you in the next and final segment of a typical cataract surgery.